Um, we were actually in the middle Hi. of the desert. Josh, Sky. <laughs> yeah, Josh and Sky. <laughs> Good start. Um, we, yeah, we um, actually broke down in the middle of the Savannah Way in the Northern Territory. You ever yep. been yet? Yeah. No, we went over the border. Yet. Um, and we got stuck in the middle of nowhere at a place called Hell's Gate. And so did somebody else who happened to have a conqueror. Um, and I was interested in it. It looked different. I'd never really seen anything like that before. And then Josh was like, oh yeah, they're like really good. And his eyes kind of lit up because I had taken notice in a camper. Um, sort of playing of the seed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So um, we actually made really good friends by the time both of our cars had got back sorted with this other couple. Um, and we ended up actually camping there the night with them and they cooked for us in the kitchen and we got to really check out the camper and stuff like that. So that kind of started the the conqueror thing. And then um, we obviously started to look for a camper ourselves and obviously that one came to right. mind. So We came and had a look at it and yeah, she fell in love with it. And even though they are imported, They've fitted out in Australia with a lot of Australian um, brands. Yeah. So like Red Ark, Airbag Man, and they drive. Mm. And they all have their own aftermarket so, um, after sale service as well, which comes with it, which is really good. So that was another thing that tipped us towards this as well. Yeah. When we were talking about getting a camper, I like roughing it when I go camping. I didn't want to feel like we weren't camping anymore. Yeah. So yeah it was kind of a nice in between because they're nice and tough and yeah. you still feel like you're camping but you've got that little bit of luxury yeah. to get us out of our swag <laughs> yeah we don't really want to be towing a, an apartment around with us we yeah. just want somewhere to hide if the weather turns mm. and or yeah a little bit a little bit of luxury a little bit of comfort but yeah conquer was the best option for us because um it gave us like a home base that wasn't canvas so if the weather turns you turned, we could pull the roof down, pull the awnings in, and we're in a, our own safe little cocoon. The hard shell was a big thing as well. If you go camping and the weather is terrible, mm -hmm. you're having a terrible time. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it kind of made it quite clear for us. That yeah. We main... didn't want to be crawling up a ladder to go to bed, no. nor did we want to <laughs> fold canvas on top of our bed. So if we were to pack up yes, in the rain, yeah, those little things. Absolutely. Um, um, and sitting inside hot canvas is not something that appeals to me <laughs> yeah um so there's just lots of things like yeah that they have a great name and great reputation there was reasons that we kind of kept coming yeah, back back to conqueror yeah so we looked at other brands we looked at a couple of the cheaper entry level um, camper travelers then we were looking at their higher end as well um the fact that the it still feels like you're camping you're not towing an indoor kitchen, an indoor bathroom with you everywhere. Um, it's an outdoor kitchen, so it draws you outside rather than yeah. staying inside. Um, well, we've been to a fair few expos and compared for a while. Yeah. Um, and as impressive as a lot of the other ones can be, a lot of it kind of gimmicky as well. And I think we kind of just ended up still going back to the fact of how structurally sound and tough, I think, mm -hmm. is what kind of kept us going back. And they're pretty appealing. Mm. They, look, they look nice. So. Yeah. <laughs>